Hey guys, Charlie the Plumber. Hey, welcome back to the channel. Appreciate everyone stopping by. You get a chance, why don't you go through and uh, give me the thumbs up if you like the video and, and uh, hit that subscribe button, share it with your friends. Uh, we do a variety of stuff, so we'd love to have you guys come along to the channel. But anyway, as you can see, I got a bunch of crap on my desk right now. I figure I do, uh, this is what I pack out to my stand. Not every day, but uh, beginning of the year I usually take stuff out. So I, I figure I would show you guys what I use, what I got, uh, what I like, what I don't like. Obviously you can see I'm a trail cam guy. Just bought the new Cuddyback, the Verizon package. Uh, works real well. I've got that up north in the woods right now. I get pictures uh, almost every day. Not a buck yet. What the? Oh, I take that back. My dad corrected me last night. One buck about this big. We hunt in the UP, Iron River, out of a 16 by 32 army tent. It's not like you can go to the corner store up there. It takes you an hour to get to town from where we're at. So always take extra cameras in case someone needs one, in case one breaks. So I've got a gearbox. It's like a, I'm going to call it a rigid toolbox from Home Depot. I jam all that stuff in there. I take two. Uh, one's got stuff that I rarely use and one that's got stuff that I use all the time. So trail cams we stick wherever we can get them. Now, in saying trail cams, you got to have the disc. So I've got a, a disc holder. It's got uh, 11 cameras plus I've got the player for my iPad. Uh, what else I got here? Flashlight. I'm a friggin' flashlight guy. These lights here, I think, are awesome for tracking deer. So I bought this one at AutoZone. It's an LED, and I've had this for about five years. And I find that when the battery is charged and it's bright, you can see blood a mile away. So I, I really like this. I'll turn this on and see if it's not too bright. So basically, you can see that, you know, it, it does cast a, a nice array when you're in the woods. Flashlight number one. My wife bought this one for me for Christmas last year. This is a tactical flashlight, but this one's got the red light on it. What I don't like about this is this big battery pack in the back. Uh, when you wear a hat, you got to wear the hat backwards because otherwise you can't adjust the uh, light. But I do wear this out in the woods. Uh, it's an awesome tracking light. If you have an issue with tracking, get yourself a good headlamp. 50 bucks. I buy these like they're going out of style. I've got two more in my truck. Usually I will carry three lights in my pack. Now this is the pack that I carry. I used to carry a backpack. This is now a fanny pack. It's a 10 Zing. Kind of keeps it off your back. One of the better investments that I made. When you're out in the woods, obviously you need a pair of clippers. You don't need a great pair of clippers. You just need a pair of clippers. So I probably stole these out of my wife's garden. When you got them bigger limbs that you need to prune at the base, I've got the saw. Uh, Coglins, this is a 300 series. Make sure when you get your saw, you get the sawtooth. I think they're pretty much all this way now. They cut both on the push and the pull stroke. Knives. This is the one I've had forever. Got a lot of deer on that with that one. That one, I bought it, went out and bought a skinning knife. It's got the gut hook. Uh, still got some guts on it. I use these a lot when I process my own deer. So, uh, But I usually have two knives in my bag. I have a heater. I keep this in my blind itself. This is a six pounder. I got tired of taking the one pounders back and forth. They're a pain in the ass. They're easy to carry. But one time we take the four wheeler out there, we dump all our stuff off in the oop. You've seen my cooking in the blinds video. This is the cast iron pan that I use. Yes, I season it every year before I go up. I've got just a little buddy heater. But this baby, I've got a cook adapter up here. You can put that on there and you can put your sandwich right on there or whatever you're cooking. I've cooked Gina pizza rolls, grilled cheese, any type of sandwich you can cook on there. The wife bought me the, the small one a couple of years ago. It's brand new, haven't used it. Kind of get uh, where I use the old one. And then I've got obviously the spatula. 
Got to be able to scoop in there. Yeah, I wash them before the season, or at least I wipe them down. You've seen the, when I wiped it down with my socks, that's fine. Don't forget, put your coffee on there. Coffee cup on there, it works awesome. That's the heater, and this is the heater hose that I take. You guys know what the heater hose is, so we'll go into the pack. So this pack's got the front pocket, obviously. Inside, you got to have the crapper paper. I use the toe warmers because when I get out my blind in the Ute, I stay all day. Ten hours out in the blind, I don't sit in my boots. So I got the booties that I bring out there. And I'll take my boots off when I get out there. I wear like a muck boot out there. I've got the Taster's Choice coffee for your coffee cup. This is just a pour and stir. Various hunks of rope in here, little pieces of rope. I use a lot of these markers coming and going. So when I got that red light on, it hits these markers. It's a clip-on marker. So you can clip them on. You can walk right to your blind. You don't have to have them bright lights. Phone cords. When you're out on there, you're not looking out in the woods every five seconds. So we always got phone cords. This one here is, is an extra, just in case. GPS. I want to be warm, guys. When you're out in your blind, you don't want to have to get up at 10 o'clock and come in because you're cold. Make sure your feet are warm. If your feet are warm, the rest of your body's going to be warm. When you're up drinking with my family every single day at camp at nighttime, you got to have the antacid. And don't forget the aspirin. Because when you're out there and your head is pounding, you need to get some aspirin in there and get yourself a nap. It's not all about killing something, guys. It's about going out and enjoying the outdoors and, and relaxing. So this is what I bought last year. A pair of binoculars, and these have the range finders built right into them. These are a Leica, L-E-I-C-A. You don't have to do the, oh, there's a deer. Throw the glasses up. Oh, I wonder how far it is. These, you go up, you pull the glasses up, you push the button, it tells you it's 75 yards. I bought them at Cabela's, took them outside, looked at the freeway, it was 600 and some yards away. Good glasses, it was a great investment. When you get old, you can't see. Anyway, this is pretty much what I carry in my bag now. Obviously, now I'm going to be carrying a couple of cameras. Uh, I've got a mount that goes on my, on my gun barrel. My kid talked me into that one. Um, when I'm out there shooting deer or when I'm out there hunting, I like to go out and just enjoy myself. If I shoot a deer, that's a bonus, so I'm happy. But So hopefully you guys like the video. Uh, you see some of the crap I take out. What do you guys take out? What do you do in your blind? I, I want to hear about reading the book and crocheting. But I'll show you the blind maybe in the, before we go up. Um, that's a little bit different animal. I've got uh, pretty much all the comforts of home, but... Hopefully you like the video, and uh, obviously it's getting close to the season, so everyone make sure you shoot straight, enjoy yourself, good luck to everyone. Don't forget, Charlie the Plumber, one of the few things in life you get for free. Thanks guys, thanks for watching, come on back, check out my other videos. We shoot small bucks here, good luck.